Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. Not with such significant cargo. Make haste. Oh, he's aboard my vessel, but he doesn't show up. Okay. Um, ay ay ay. Where are we going? Here. Oh. I'm assuming that it's that big ominous pillar of light out in the middle of the water. That wasn't there before, huh? Do you think it could be that? Oh, it's probably that. Yes, this is what I wanted though. Woo! I'm so quick. How many more engines could I have fit, actually? Not much. I guess a bunch of those jet ones if you wanted to, along with the massive one, but we'd have been here forever trying to get research parts. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard, and tethered by chains in the deep. So there's a necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to starry heavens. Starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box, and lay the weary world to rest. So there's a music box overboard, its key left unturned. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Whoa! Hi! Cool sound. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that Cthulhu? Dude, what the fuck happened? <laughs> that was sick! <laughs>